This phrase, the, uh, the sign of Jonah, was used by Jesus in the Gospels uh, as a metaphor, I, said, I guess, for where these days of Lent uh, are leading us to his death and burial and resurrection. Recall that Jonah spent three days and three nights in the belly of a fish. So, in the same way Jesus will spend three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. As we know, the season of Lent is a period in which we walk with the Lord in his temptations and in his fasting by contemplating again his betrayal, his gruesome passion on the way uh, to Calvary and his death on the cross. So poignantly, poignantly displayed here in our beautiful chapel dedicated to the Holy Cross. All of this so that we can be brought to the tremendous joy of Easter. So it would not be out of place to say that the season of Lent and Easter in a way reflect the sign of Jonah. And since the, the catechism uh, of the Catholic Church teaches us that the Holy Eucharist is the memorial of the passion, death, and the resurrection of Christ, therefore we can say that no other sign will be given to us apart from what we do right here, today, and every day at Catholic TV. The memorial of his saving act, the Holy Eucharist, the sacrament of his body and blood, this Mass, every Mass, makes present and effective again that great act of love. And so in coming as we do to the altar each day, we're offered the opportunity to repent and turn back to God, just as the Ninevites did when they heard the preaching of Jonah. As you know, we begin each Mass by acknowledging our sins. It's our way of preparing our hearts for the sacrifice. So too, a well-considered confession is a very important part of our movement through Lent. Thank you, by the way, for your generosity in supporting the Mass here on Catholic TV, particularly right now uh, through the Grand Annual Appeal. Your generosity is so important to us and so very much appreciated by me. May God continue to bless you on your Lenten journey, and may God grant our world peace.